Done. There. See now 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 it'll work. Now we're good. <laughs> All yeah. right, why don't you go ahead and push that button again? Uh, hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast, episode 165. <laughs> For Thursday, the 15th of March, 2018. I was about to say 16. Holy <laughs> shit. Uh, this is a show where two lifelong friends and their guests celebrate all things geek. I'm Amos. That's Kent. We got Crunchy with us, and I'm going to say all that really fast because I don't know when this show's going to fail. <sighs> Oh my God, we are starting off splendidly. This is fantastic, um, man. Uh, I'm I'm sporting a bunch of swag. That must mean that we just got back from South by Southwest. Yeah, you're all swagged out. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't I don't know if that's a thing or not, but <laughs> it is now. Crunchy, are you a, are you as much of a swag whore as I am? Nope. I didn't get any swag. None. Ah. Uh-huh. Wow. You still have chances though. Like you get, like all through the weekend to to get more swag, or any swag, I, I guess. I uh I work all weekend. Uh, Maybe someone I, will no. die there, and I'll have to pick him up. Uh, <laughs> she, she, oh, that's that's likely. She's gonna pull swag off their body. <laughs> that's fine now. That's a felony. Uh, that's <laughs> that never stopped the felons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we are we are going good. Um, hey dude, it's been a hell of a week, and we have to start the show. We I don't see any other way to start the show, a, a podcast about geek shit, other than paying a little bit of tribute to the loss of the earthly person who was Stephen Hawking on Pi Day, also Einstein's birthday, because Stephen Hawking, in a, even in death, can play a hell of a numerical joke. Uh. Yeah, man. Uh, the dude was obviously a genius, probably the greatest living mind uh, of, of our, our lifetime. Yeah, of our of our day. Um, yeah, it's a it's it's a hell of a loss. But man, he contributed so much to just knowledge, just human knowledge yep. that uh, we're just beginning to explore the things that he discovered. So, uh, yeah, he's he basically is going to live forever. Um. First, Crunchy, I'll, I'll spin it to you. Uh, do you have any thoughts on Stephen Hawking? Was no. He, was he your favorite Simpsons character? or <laughs> No. Uh, um, um, I got a $3.14 pizza for Pi Day. Well, I mean, there's that. that, that that's <laughs> a good thing. Awkward silence. That, <laughs> that almost makes up for it. Um, no. So... I heard it mentioned that, you know, well, Stephen Hawking couldn't have been that awesome because he didn't even get a Nobel Prize. And I, so that caused me to do a little research. And so here's the thing about Stephen Hawking and the Nobel Nobel Prize, you know, whatever. You don't get those until your theories are proven. And Steve, Stephen Hawking's theories that he put out there, the stuff that he, that he discovered or may have discovered, I, I should say, I guess, uh, we we don't even have like a clear idea on how to prove or disprove it. It's that far out there for us. So, but then, I mean, I, some of Einstein's shit didn't get proven, proven until what, like 2006 or 2012 or whatever. Or like last year. Yeah. So, I mean, his, his gravitational some waves, his, some of his shit's still not proven. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so it, it's just, it's, it's one of those things, but we couldn't, we couldn't uh, do the show without saying something, a little tip of the hat uh, to start off with. Yep. Hell yeah. Um, man, some other news I just want to mention real quick. Student protests. Uh, they're doing this whole walkout thing. Um, I know a lot of people don't care. A lot of people think it's really stupid. I am only sorry that something like this didn't uh, it didn't have the groundswell during our generation, Kent, because this is something I would have been standing out there for 17 hours. Fuck that 17 minutes shit. I would have been ditching school for 17 hours <laughs> well- like... Well, see, to be fair, though, in in high when you and I were in high school, any excuse to skip school would have been us skipping school, right? But so, but we, but we, there was never anything that happened when we were in high school. Like we weren't gonna go and and walk out in the field and and skip class for for Timothy McVeigh, like you know that's or or you know that, that we did all those stuff that we had happened when we were in school wasn't gonna wasn't gonna uh uh. uh 
help a student body do any kind of protesting in any way, shape, or form. And sure. I'm I'm just I'm just glad it happened. I don't I don't even know if Amber and Ashley did it. I doubt they did because they're in South Carolina, so they're probably locked into school anyway. Probably did one of those tornado drills that the ACLU is going to have to fight about. Um, but I I just thought that was really cool, and I just wish something like that had had. I guess I'm, I'm glad I'm glad nothing like that happened when we were in school that, that caused us all the protest. <laughs> sure. like that's yeah, that's but, a really weird thing to wish, Amos. Yeah, that's oh. like you could be the Lex. The, wow, words are hard. Um, you could be the next Lena Dunham. I really wish I had an abortion. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> um, uh, one other thing I want to mention real quick, Kent, because we're kind of going through stuff because we want to talk about South by. Um, I discovered a service this week that I fell in love with immediately. Um, is it a, a, a prostitution service? Well, no. Is it a um? Uh, is it a marijuana delivery service? No, but uh, that that's coming in a couple years. Um, I give up. Crunchy, do you got any idea what what this service might be? Um, no. I think you covered all the important stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's nothing left. I mean, what, I it mean, couldn't have been that good of a discovery. <laughs> uh, I mean, well, maybe if it was like a, a pot delivering prostitutes. Wait, like, the pot is delivering no, the no, no. prostitutes prostitutes with the drugs hidden in their vaginas or their butts. <laughs> right, right. And that's how they deliver it. Like you order some weed and a prostitute brings it to you. And she's like, you know, you split the delivery with me and, you know. It's, <laughs> <laughs> split, I see what you did there. Okay. Um, so, I, no, no, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing that fun, I guess. I guess I, I, I probably shouldn't even mention it now, but um <laughs> Genius.com. Dying to know. Yeah, genius.com. Uh, it's a site where they have a bunch of song lyrics and they have um, people's thoughts on what the song lyrics mean. <clears throat> well, that intrigues me because I'm always interested to see what other people think songs mean because a lot of artists don't explain it. Well, there are some songs on here that the artists themselves have gone in and explained things on. In particular, the Hamilton soundtrack, as I was listening to it, I went through and found the site because I wanted to see if they I could actually get the scripts, you know, and see uh, how how it kind of played out. And Lin Manuel Miranda has actually gone and added his thoughts to a lot of the songs and the lyrics and what the meanings behind it were. And I thought that was just jazzy as shit because I love especially like like VH1 behind the music, one of my favorite things. Or when they come out and they do the uh, the the explanations and then they perform the song or whatever. I always love that shit. And this is just like a a, 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 a an analog version. I guess not, it's digital, but it's, I always like pop up video. Yeah, God, I love pop up video. That shit should have just stayed on forever. <laughs> they should have done every video. Like as soon as the video came out, there should have been a pop up version of it. Yeah, there should be a cable channel that shows music videos. That that could be a novel idea for 2018 or 2019. No, 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 no. no. Just one that shows pop up videos. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> it'd be far more interesting if it was just pop up videos all the time. It, it'd be great if it was pop up videos with Beavis and Butthead segments in between the videos. Oh my god! Now you're talking. Yeah, like the the video plays on a small screen that you're the Beavis and Butthead are watching, and you're like behind them, raised just just above couch level, so you can see the TV and you can see their heads on either side. So it's like MST three K style almost, <laughs> and then like pop up videos as it's going along, explaining like all the shit on the top can be the pop up video part, and the stuff on bottom can be like Mike Judge's comments. Yes, I'm. Yeah, I'm down. Yeah, that'd be amazing. That'd be. Oh, I'd be I'd be good with that. What about you, Crunchy? Do you do you, uh do you like the the Beavis and Butthead? Why Beavis and Butthead? Uh, that was their that was their MTV show. So if you if you ever watched Be Beavis and Butthead when they first came out, it was just it was like a half hour of music videos with just Beavis and Butthead little like skits in between it. Yeah. Are we showing our age now? Cause, like, yeah, I you, think we are. I just you, realized. You look really sad. <laughs> and I don't know if you're sad because you can't join in the conversation or if you're just sad because you're on a podcast with two old guys. I don't yeah. know which one it is. I mean, she's, she's thinking, right? like, what, what did you Because we all you know how much I hate old the... people, right? <laughs> uh, we are your lifeblood in business, actually, so you shouldn't hate us yeah. that. <laughs> Oh, okay. So I'm just gonna watch Beavis and Butthead and and pop up <laughs> videos on on YouTube, and uh, we'll just call it quits. Um, <laughs> we uh, we did some cool shit this weekend. 
Well, last weekend, I guess, not this coming weekend. Like we didn't did cool stuff this coming weekend. Yeah, yeah. So uh, next week, uh, <laughs> we did some <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> no, man. Last week we were we didn't do this show because we were in Austin doing a meetup. Well, we didn't do this show because we were in Austin, and we didn't do a show in Austin because we were uh, last minute planning everything coming out of our ass right there at the last second in Austin. Oh, so it's a lot like doing this show. You got it. <laughs> Especially tonight. <laughs> you shouldn't have to plan the stuff that comes out of your ass. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got to plan the timing. I I have some gay friends that might disagree with that. Um, <laughs> uh, so so shall we, yeah, shall we cut to this then? <laughs> <laughs> So this this is uh, this is us opening up Night Attack. Uh, Night Attack Live. Ly slash DCTV donate, right? Yes, bit.ly slash DCTV donate if you want yeah. to be a part of this awesome thing. If you would like to help kids, because that's what we do. We like to donate money to help kids. And it's awesome, and it's something we can all do together. It's one of the many projects we have lined up as a community coming to you soon. Okay, first of all, I didn't realize how many people were still talking while we were up there on the mics. Like, there's a lot of people just chit-chatting away. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, th that was the case during the, not, like, night attack proper. I mean, hell, you and I had a full conversation while they were, <laughs> while they were going. All right, fair enough. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of helping kids. Oh, yeah. Okay, stop. Right, well, look, look, okay. W why did nobody tell me I'm a fat bastard? <laughs> I I didn't what? tell you. No. Why? 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 Why is it that we have we have people watching the show, and and we have people we've met in real life, and and I have like my best friends on my podcast with me, and none of y'all told me I was a fat bastard. I, I think the uh, accordion player in the background there is is thinking it. I think so too, because I mean, look at his face. He's like, oh my god, this fat bastard needs to get off the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. I had no idea I was that goddamn fat until I saw this video. I, I know TV adds some pounds and shit, but <laughs> do they all have to be right there in that one area? God damn. Um, Bryce. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking Bryce. This is where he's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> Uh, you, you got a second? We uh, we we decided to to take up a collection and uh, help one of our own that's in need. So what I'm learning from this is we just need to shut up and bag on Bryce, and we'll get laughs and shit. That's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bryce, this is a collection of nickels from Diamond Club. I think right there he still thinks we're bullshitting him. I, I don't think he thinks it's actually real. <laughs> There's one caveat, though. Uh, Jury donated a dollar coin. He wants his 95 cents back, so... <laughs> that right there is priceless. Like, he was like, what the fuck? Like, he, he was confused the whole time, but now he delivers this. <laughs> <laughs> nice oh, yeah. Nice for Justin. Yeah, exactly. Um... Yeah, I guess we do need to describe what, what the hell's going on for the audio listeners because it's mostly audio listeners. And well, I'm a shitty host because I forget that sometimes. <laughs> That's a nice freeze frame, by the way, of of me. It's like a <laughs> like I'm screaming. It, it it looks like you're about to eat the microphone. Or like. <laughs> that. Like yeah. Your mouth is like wide open. You got a little joint. Like, oh my god, you got me an edible microphone. Oh. <laughs> Speak, you know what, Kent? I think you're just good at freeze frames. You saw the one that Travis posted of you, right? <laughs> Actually, I don't think I did. No? Which, 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 was that at a restaurant or? Um, <laughs> oh, my God. We might have to bring this one up. I think it was at one of the bars after Night Attack. Uh, so this is me crying, apparently. I'm just going to go back and free, free, free first free, free, freeze frame all this. <laughs> There's there's yeah. Pat Bastard so, again. Yeah, so e even our video watchers are not seeing this right now. So, uh, well, I guess that's true. So shut up. Uh, <laughs> look, 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 look. It's been a while. It's been like two weeks since I did this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, yeah, uh, actually, it's been about five days. 
Whatever. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was that was Saturday. That was the live night attack show on mm-hmm. Saturday. That was a lot of fun. Um, you know, big thanks to Brian and Justin for letting us open up night attack. That was that was a thrill. That was an honor. That was that was super cool, and it gave us an opportunity to pimp out the streamathon charity. Yep. So, uh, really cool. Uh, but Thursday night we did uh, we did this little meetup thing here that the Crunchy was so nice to show up to. <laughs> we actually had we had quite a turnout, man. I don't know if anyone got a head count for that, but it was it, I, I, it was it had to be at least be thirty. I counted twenty four before uh, Brian, Justin, and Tom showed up. Yeah, so and a lot a, of people showed up after that. Yeah, as well. that's at least twenty seven plus whoever else showed up after that. So, yeah, we were probably the, between forty and fifty, I would think. By the time yeah. it was all done, um, what was really cool was CJ gave us a bunch of tickets to give to everybody, and basically everybody had happy hour the entire time they were there with like three dollar wells, three dollar drafts. <laughs> so uh. can I can I talk about <laughs> can I talk about the implementation of that real quick? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so so thank you, CJ. That was amazing. That was really really cool. Uh, but you either need to brief your staff better or hire better staff in the first place <laughs> um darwin's pub has a strict policy where they only hire assholes <laughs> um yeah well see Th- that wasn't the that problem was, that was the exact <laughs> yes it was because this so this waitress that was like the she was kind of in charge of the section that that we were in she thought that the tickets meant that everyone drank for free all night whoa hmm. what <laughs> yeah yeah. So I saw that disaster truck coming through down the tunnel, and uh, I, I um, yeah, to everyone around me's chagrin, I had to put a stop to that. Right. But even when you put a stop to it, it didn't fix the problem because now she thought she had to turn in the ticket each time. So she yeah. was confiscating the tickets and turning it in, then bringing it back to you maybe when she brought you your beer. <sighs> It was yeah. It was it was um it was kind of a shit show from the waitress. Yeah, just uh, the one. We had to fix that about I don't know eight or so times. Uh, other than that, uh, it was it was fantastic. Uh, I mean, well, well, Crunchy's gonna have something to say about how it ended because it ends the same way every year for her. <laughs> every year. <laughs> oh, true. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, so we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But uh, I, I do want to point out that Tay Allen was our co-host for the event, yep. and she was she was great. Uh, she helped us put together the the games, the prizes. Um, she was the the best herder of cats, I think, that we could have asked for for the event. <laughs> that's that's a good way to say it. Yeah, yeah, sure. That sounds nice. Yeah, well, I mean, we were so we were trying to to organize some games, but to get everyone to be in the same spot at the same time so we could get a game going was, yeah. uh, let's just say, challenging. Uh, but Tay Tay was able to get everyone to kind of like you know football huddle up so that they could figure out what the hell was going on. Yeah, um, I'm I'm showing some some pictures on screen for the audio listeners that, of just di- di- different pictures that were taken during the uh, during the Thursday meetup. So. Got yeah, it. so the, the picture you're showing right now is is Waffleopagus with Tay. Mm-hmm. Uh, this was right after Waffle won uh, one of the games. I, I don't remember which one it was that that he won right there. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, oh, that's a that's a video. This is uh, yeah. <laughs> this is let's see if I can get this to play right. Uh, this is uh, Brusselberry and Curtis LaRock. Imitating the introduction to Night Attack. Um, let's, let's go with this real quick. Hey, y'all, kick it, dog it. And it's go time for Night Attack, bringing you the best of the worst of the internet since 1492. What about BFF? His name is Jake Parkway. Hey, y'all, kick it, dog in the balls. <laughs> So there was that. Um, oh, it is nuts. Uh, you didn't show the video to no. The... Oh, look, look, I can only do so much right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that was. They were the winners of the night attack opening impression. But yeah. Brian uh, and Justin's was priceless. Uh, yeah, it. it, it, it uh, I don't even know how to. Oh, that's not. That's not gonna work. Um, God, this 
fucking Twitter. Just can you just play the shit without without doing the like like? Oh my god! Uh, technical difficulties, Avis. Uh, it's, <laughs> no, it's fucking t- Twitter. Fuck Twitter. <laughs> oh my god! Fucking Twitter. So Twitter. Any, so anyway, what happened was Brian and Justin showed up actually while we were playing. <laughs> Uh, okay, there we go. Now I'm, I might actually have it now. So now we can go like this, and then I can go here, and then I can hit play, and maybe there'll be some sound. So Brian and Justin showed up while we were playing this game, and they wanted to play. Yeah. But they obviously are the ones that do the intro to Night Attack. Well, so they decided, or actually you decided. I okay, decided. They needed to change spots. Right. So, so Brian Justin, would effectively pull the Justin part, and Justin would be the, the Brian part. And then we'd see how it'd go from there. Right. And this is what happened. Go! Oh, and that was them. So yes, that was pretty good. But we, of course, we had to disqualify them, right? For cheating because they pre- they clearly planned that out. They clearly uh, planned that ahead of time. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cl- clearly, they practiced that. Yeah, that's uh. <laughs> <laughs> uh and then uh, of course we had the, uh, the 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 contest of of trying to uh, uh, I don't even know what that was. Uh, it's, it's... <laughs> that was uh, the best imitation of Tay Allen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, so so much so much good stuff here. Um, pickup line was uh, uh, Hammond. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Acorn. Yeah, Acorn. L- Lincoln Hammond. But uh, we yeah. for some reason we, we were calling him Acorn like all weekend. That's how he introduced <laughs> himself. Oh well, there there you go. So he's Acorn officially. So, um, you know what? And man. I didn't even remember. I didn't even realize till you said that. Like I literally met him there, and he introduced himself as Acorn. And then I met him again at Night Attack, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm Lincoln." I'm like, okay. So he might have didn't been even li- fucking catch on. He might have been an idiot. He, he might have been a little confused. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I don't know. It was it was a lot of fun. We we did so many games. Uh, Tay gave away uh, like signed pictures of herself mm-hmm. and these crazy like '90s CD covers for some reason. <laughs> Which we get. Everybody was like, "What the hell is this for?" And we were like, um, "Tay brought them." And they were like, "This is awkward." And we we're like, "Exactly." And <laughs> like every time yeah. I said Tay brought them, they're like, "This is awkward." I was like, "You're clearly not in on the joke." <laughs> Hashtag awkward. Exactly. By the way. <laughs> it was great. <clears throat> um. Uh, yeah. Oh, and we gave away RMP stickers, which uh, I've got a funny story about that. But let's let's go ahead and finish out. <laughs> that, that night continues. Um, we we did a scavenger hunt. We st- we started it off, and it, it quickly went from an eighty four dollar sca- or eighty six dollar scavenger hunt up to um a two hundred dollar scavenger hunt with the help of uh, uh, well, Justin started the upping, and then um. It was helped immediately by TJ. Yeah, we got TJ'd. Uh, uh, TJ wasn't even in Austin at the time. <laughs> he still managed to TJ us. Yeah. So yeah. So thank you to Justin and Time Jumper. Um, way cool move. That was awesome. It made the prize worth winning. I think. Yeah. And here the kicker was that a lot of people weren't pay- playing the uh, the scavenger hunt game until Shane Rosencrantz came along and started posting a bunch of pictures and racking up all kinds of points. And everybody else is like, oh shit, we got to post these, huh? Yeah, I to, think to yeah. Him, was he the, 
to include our guest tonight, Crunchy, like she, she was taking pictures at the Thursday meetup and didn't bother posting them anywhere. <laughs> yeah, in fact, can you blow up that picture right there? Uh, the 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 top one that you see there with Crunchy. Oh, Crunchy uh, and the Invisible this Wife. Was, yeah, this was probably my favorite picture of the entire see, scavenger hunt. But I didn't want to post that one right away because I didn't want to give away the secret to the picture with Invisible Wife. <laughs> well, only one other person stole that idea, so it. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Oh, this right here was just amazing. Oh, yeah. So we found Diamond Club headquarters, I think. <laughs> uh, this was on what, Congress, I think? Was this South Congress? I don't even think we were in Congress. Well, we it was, it's on whatever street the uh, the the Marriott is on, because we had just left the Marriott. It's right around the corner uh, from the Marriott. Yeah, I mean, Marriott's on like four streets. So Yeah, the burger joint. Um, and then there's this. <sighs> uh, yeah, so our, our good pal, Elon Musk. Uh, invited he, us out to the to the Tesla Expo. Uh huh. Uh huh. It um, d- decided that it would it'd be cool, a really cool, fun idea if we did some cross promotion. Yeah. So we could talk about his Teslas on our show, and we could advertise RMP uh, by by putting a sticker on one of the Teslas. And I got to tell you, man, those Teslas are awesome, especially when they go to RMP sticker. That adds like four miles per gallon. <laughs> um. So that was fun. Uh. Then we found out that Elon Musk was in Austin for real. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't need to go over what happened later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're still trying to figure some of that out, actually. Uh, so if anyone knows <laughs> the fate of that sticker, <laughs> that would be really cool. Um, uh, oh, oh, here's the other, the other picture of, of Invisible Wife. <laughs> yes. So, the, yeah, here, here's Shane. With Invisible Wife, yeah. um, Invisible Wife is uh, wearing a mask on her face of a uh, of a smiley like face. Emoji. Yeah, a smiley like a sunglasses emoji. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, totally legit. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Uh, I don't even know what this is. This is some craziness here. Um, there's some other more non diamond club people and some other random stuff. Uh, yeah, getting uh, signatures. Curtis, Curtis got in in the act, like kind of uh, at the midnight hour. And, uh, yeah, he, he racked up a lot of points really and, fast. And I, I gotta say, I really appreciate Crunchy supporting us as, as much as she does. She's, she's really amazing. And, uh, to walk around all day with the RMP sticker on your back, mm-hmm. that's, that's dedication. That's, that's really, I know. it's really, uh, really high You're class. Welcome. That was pretty sweet. And <laughs> I'm surprised that she didn't comment on Twitter when I posted that picture. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> when did you find out this sticker was there? Um, when I saw it posted on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I was this, in, this was in retaliation to me using your back as an advertisement place, right? Uh, uh, that that was what the original idea, yes, because I walked around all night long with a hashtag still in beta sticker stuck to me. I actually forgot about that because I saw... I saw you apply that sticker to his back, and then I forgot yeah. to even check later to see if it was still there. So no, it, it was. Nope. It's uh, it was still there when I was packing up my clothes uh, to, <laughs> to leave. It was still there, so I went in and peeled it off. It's That's it's somewhere in our Airbnb room now. <laughs> so hopefully they continue the tradition if they find it. So so okay. one so one more story about the stickers. Uh, I, so I was supposed to. I was supposed to bring all of these stickers with me uh so you know all these uh dc tv and rmp stickers and uh, i've got a a whole shitload of the still in beta stickers uh i get down to austin and i uh open up my bag and i was like oh fuck i didn't bring any of the stickers not a one not only did you tell me i was carrying so many in my purse well, we we figured it out. So we got there early as shit we, on Thursday morning. I had eaten breakfast, taken a nap before Kent even got off the plane. And by the time he got off the plane, we got downtown and we were still around in time to eat breakfast, drink coffee, and wander the city before noon. Yeah, I think I think we got downtown at like 7.30 a.m. or something. Mm-hmm. Like it was super, super early. It was like disgustingly early. It was so early that we would not have been upset if that's the time that we were going to bed. Like, right. <laughs> exactly. That's, so a, I, that's not a bad time to be going to bed at South by seven thirty in the morning. Yeah. So it was not. 
it was not much after that, that, that I realized that I'd forgotten to pack the stickers. So we go into RMP panic mode and decided to Google print shops. So we walked our happy asses all the way down sixth street, like way, holy shit, way West on sixth street. Like I didn't know sixth street went that far West. But we sure as hell walked it. We found a print shop oh, that man. that that uh, agreed to make sheets of stickers for us while we waited. Yep. Uh, and and it, it, was, it was actually some of the cheapest stickers we've ever bought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And and no. better than than the other ones that we had that we had printed. In fact. <laughs> yeah, it was um, pretty great. Yeah, that was a, that was a hell of a walk. My back appreciated it. Oh, oh, so did my feet because <laughs> before that day ended, we actually we went to a CVS or um, a Walgreens or something. Well, uh, yeah, because yeah. because our Airbnb had cats. Well, had a cat and I'm allergic to cats. So I was like, well, I need I, I, I forgot my Sudafed. So I need to go and buy some Sudafed to, to keep my body pumped up full of the no sneezy sneezy pills. Um, <laughs> and uh, while we were there and make meth and make meth. Well, yeah, there's that. I mean, uh, um. So while we were there, Kent decided, hey, you know what? I've uh, I kind of got a flat tire here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I actually used the term probably for, for the first time in my life. I used the the phrase, "My dogs are barking," <laughs> like the old ass man that I am. <laughs> he had some some shit broken in the shoe. Like his shoe was like paper thin. He's been walking on it for an extra three, four, five, eight miles. Oh, my ass man. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you had to get some Dr. Scholl's. Uh, yeah, dude. Like that. Those things were lifesavers. How old did you feel buying Dr. Scholl's at a CVS in at South by? Oh, man, it, as as old as it felt, saying that my dogs were barking. Okay, motherfuckers. <laughs> I had to wear shoes. Keep in mind, I don't wear shoes. I wear flip flops. I wear shoes to work and to the gym. But I knew I would be walking. So I wore what my coworker likes to refer to as my geriatric shoes because I need to buy specialized shoes if I'm going to walk because I'm gimpy. Yeah, that, that is what I should have done before I went to Austin because <laughs> goddamn, I was just wearing my, they're basically skater shoes, super, super thin soles, uh, which is normally okay, except we decided on day one right out of the gate to walk. Amos, what did we log? Like ten miles or something? Uh, I think it was like eight miles. Yeah, it was eight ridiculous miles on our feet. Like, oh my god! On, on day one, before taking a nap, and then after that, we got up and uh, probably walked like six more miles. Yeah. <laughs> um, we, we are we are remiss though. We meant uh, we meant to mention a certain event that happened at Darwin's, our our annual uh, night closer. Oh, yes. Uh, Crunchy, care to elaborate on your annual tradition? Yeah. Every year, they accuse me of being wasted. And keep in mind, last year, I just had surgery. I wouldn't drink carbonation. I was sober as shit. And this year, I've had exactly one Red Bull and two Angry Orchards. And they said, um, I think you need a water you're clearly wasted. And I'm like, um, no, 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 guys, that's, a, that's, um, that's my face. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have a breathalyzer here. Like, I'm, not, um, I'm not wasted. I'm just retarded in the face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have very deep hooded eyes that make me look half Asian. And <laughs> also drunk. Um, so I'm like, look, I have a breathalyzer. I'm aware they aren't accurate from a drugstore, but if anything, they blow high. You can take a sip of beer, and if you blow right after that, you'll blow like a point two because you're supposed to wait 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I have a breathalyzer here. I'm blowing a point oh seven. I can still legally drive, and they're like, no, you're fucking wasted. And I'm like, I didn't, no, I'm not, but whatever. And then I, okay, guys, and I'm I'm so sorry because this was fun. The games were great. But I cannot go next year on Thursday. I can't because it kills my vibe every year. And then I never want to spend the rest of the time in South by because I want to kill everyone. <laughs> um, but, um, I tried to be so the chivalrous one and go uh, speak to the bartender. Uh, but it 
it doesn't work so well when when I am shit hammer wasted to the, go tell the bartender right. that my friend it's, it's, is not drunk. Okay. So here's the thing with Kent. When when Kent drinks, he goes from from normal Kent to <laughs> giggly Kent to loud Kent to ignorant bastard Kent. And that night he had just achieved loud Kent and was just starting to approach ignorant bastard Kent when And he was still not cut off. You no, know, no, I just and, yeah. Throw that out there. Yeah, yeah, he was still throwing him back. When Kent grabs Crunchy and like basically throws his arm around her and drags her in, tells the bouncers, no, she's good. She's with me and continues walking in like he's king bitch of the place and goes storming up to the bar. And that's when I lost sight of him because I'm like, you know what? I am not part of this. This is I I don't know what's going on. I uh, you know what? I'm going to just stand out here because we're getting ready to leave anyway. So why the fuck are they going back in? Um (laughs) That's what I said. <laughs> like, no, That's we're going point. back. <laughs> so maybe, maybe Kent had, had actually reached uh, 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 Angry Bastard Kent. Um, <laughs> well, the, the, the thing was, like, I think I only had, like, four beers that night. But I also had only had, like, an hour and a half of sleep in the last 40 hours. Mm. So mm. when you're that tired, that sleep deprived, any alcohol you have in your system is just going to amp up your drunkenness and, and we didn't get up and eat like we'd planned on either so oh. right we, yeah we'd not eaten. much food system and yeah. yeah yeah so your your ignorant ass was like shit hammered drunk tired whatever you want to call it crunchy had had two beers and she was getting <laughs> thrown out and everybody's just making their way for you like that's 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 how fucked okay. up that night was now now keep in mind this happens and then i'm like okay fuck it all i know is there being assholes? I'm not going to get charged gratuity, like 25% gratuity for not closing out my tab. So Kent's doing this, and I go up to the bar, and the guy looks in my face and laughs at me and goes, no. And I go, can I close my tab? And he goes, oh, yeah, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Um, <laughs> and so, Kent, how much do you remember after that? Um, I remember... Um something about stacy and we left darwin's went to the speakeasy yes oh yes i oh that's right and you had had another beer or two there yes and then it was like well i'm hungry and kathy and richard were like let's go get tacos and crunchy was like i want pizza and i was like i don't want pizza so Mm -hmm. we all went outside and nobody could make a decision on where we were going blah blah blah. so i said fuck it i'm gonna go get tacos and if I find pizza on the way, or I'm going to go get pizza. If I find tacos on the way, more power to me. And I start walking. I get to the taco joint that's across the street from the pizza joint. And I realize that you and Crunchy didn't come with us. <laughs> well, we, we discussed this. You guys did not want to go because it was far away and we needed an Uber. But what happened <laughs> is, so Stacy had an unfortunate event earlier that week where her wallet got stolen. So now Stacy has no ID. So... Stacy's texting me and she's like, do you want to just, do you want to just go to bars around my house where they know me and won't ID me? And I'm like, yeah, I'll go talk to Stacy. Stacy will be nice to me. unlike everyone else here. Um, so Kent and I decide we're going to go to Fuzzy's taco shop. Cause that's my normal bar. They'll be nice to me too. They love me there. Um, so we decide to meet Stacy there. Way to now we up, get Kent. a lift. We get a lift. <laughs> Kent, do you remember the lift ride to Fuzzy's? Um, that speaking of fuzzy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, are we gonna get a good Kent story here? This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> this is probably the first um, time I'm here. So, <laughs> so uh, we get in this Uber. So, so, this, so it was a lift, right? Uh, oh, it is a lift. Sorry, I'm, not I'm, Uber, a lift. Just in case, um, uh, just in case they want to sponsor a show or something like that, I just want to make sure they understand. <laughs> Which one we were talking about? Right. Uh, you represent. We, we used we used a lot of Lyft while we were there. We never used an Uber. Uh, we used a lot of Lyft at South by. Uh, South by twenty eighteen. Well, I have fifty percent off coupon code. You're not supposed to say that. Uh, you're not you're not supposed to kill the deal, dude. Like you're 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 shooting down uh, our ammunition. No, I mean I mean like last year I got one. I don't I don't know why I didn't get one this year, but um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I almost spat Mountain Dew all over my computer. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so this uh, the, the fuzzy ride to fuzzies. Right. So <laughs> yes. we get in the lift, and the driver, as with a lot of fucking people in Texas, I would venture to say, like, you know, almost a majority, is he is a um, Hispanic man. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so... He has a bit of an accent, like not an American sounding accent. Mm. So Kent starts like fucking grilling him about, you know, you're, you're obviously not from here. Where did you come from? Where did you come? From? Why did you come here? Why did you come to America? Oh, my God. We got, as, you got racist Kent. <laughs> and as he's doing this, oh. he's asking the guy over and over and over and over. So what's your name again? And so, like, you're kind of expecting, like, maybe this guy has a kind of not American name, like, kind of Hispanic. His name was fucking Paul. His name was Paul. It's just Kent over and over again. What's your name again? I'm like, Kent, it's Paul. Oh, my God, it's Paul. So we get to Fuzzy, and we meet Stacy. Now, Fuzzy's Fuzzy's closes in a half hour. So we decide to go to the Nomad Bar, which is another one by Stacy. And we we get in the lift. And Ken starts doing the exact same shit. But <laughs> Stacy, being a better person than I am, is like, okay, Ken, stop. Let's <laughs> let's just let's just quit that. Um, and keep in mind, Ken didn't drink at Fuzzy's. Ken decided to finally he should get a water. So he's sobering up a little bit, kinda. I, I like um, how Stacy's the good person out of this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we get to the nomad bar. <clears throat> <laughs> and we walk in and um Kent's um Kent's not doing so well at this point, I'll say that. Um Kent, Kent is a <laughs> Kent's needing a little bit of support. And you know, the, given the people that you go to for support, we walk in. I get guilty by association. We walk in, have zero peers, and they go, um, we can't serve you two. <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> and so Stacy gets a drink, and then she sees a couple people that she normally talks to there just from knowing them. And I'm like, Stacy, you know what? I'm clearly not supposed to be out tonight. I'm just going to go home. <laughs> and we don't even know where Kent is. Kent's still inside, asleep at a fucking table. Um, <laughs> And um, so she's like, oh, wait, I'll come with you. Help me finish this beer. And she shoves the beer over to me. I take one sip and a man runs over and goes, um, excuse me, you're not allowed to drink. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, okay, I'm not. OK, it's hers. I'm not touching it. Just one sip. It's fine. Sorry. Sorry. Um, and so. <laughs> so so you were cut off queen and he was ignorant bastard. Somebody show title that shit. Uh, oh, oh my god man. that is that, and that so, is wait, awesome so then i'm like okay oh, my bad done. sorry it's i won't drink. <laughs> so she, she needed a breather <laughs> kind of like you did that night kent <laughs> exactly yeah yeah so i'm like my bad i won't drink so then stacy goes to pay for her beer her debit card's not working and this is one that really pissed me off this broke the fucking camel's back see i can be old too um so <laughs> Um, she's like, my card's not working here. Crunchy. Can I just transfer money to your bank account? And then you pay with your card. And I'm like, okay. So I walk up to the counter and the guy looks at me and goes, I'm not changing my mind. And I'm like, whoa, oh, whoa why is everyone being a dick to me today? Do you want her beer to be paid for? Am I allowed to buy beer if it's not my own beer? And they're like, oh, okay. Jesus. So my me being the person that's too drunk to buy beer has to pay for everyone's shit. I have to get Kent his fucking ride back to his Airbnb and tip our fucking Lyft driver then. I have to be the responsible one, even though I'm the one that's too drunk to be responsible. And it pissed me the fuck off. Fuck <laughs> Thursday at South By. Fuck Thursday at South By. Seriously. Oh, my God. Well, um, I'm glad we had fun. <clears throat> Wait, 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 wait. You paid for Kent's Uber back? Or or did you just take his phone and, and hit the buttons for him? I don't remember exactly, but I know that we tipped 
the guy for him because we were like, Kent, you have to tip this guy because um, Lyft was his full time job. And it was like we walked into the fucking cash cab. <laughs> Like we get in the car and all these ceiling lights light up and slow mom. <laughs> yeah, I do down. remember yelling at the guy. Like, I see what you're doing here, bro, but turn that shit off. <laughs> it was the coolest shit ever. It was awesome. <laughs> the so only we, part, the only part of the in the entire night that Crunchy liked, other than the games that had had expired hours ago, was this 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 cash, cash cab. cab that Kent was yelling at the guy to turn it off. <laughs> And I'm like, and the guy, the guy was totally like playing along with us and joking around. I'm like, no, we have to tip this guy. Ken's not going to do it because Ken's not even sober enough to figure out how to use a phone. So I'll pay this guy. It's fine. I like found some spare fucking money because I never have cash. And I'm like, here, take this money. I'll just pay for everything tonight. It's fine. It's all me. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, j- just so you know, uh, by the time he got back to the room, I'd already fallen asleep. I'd got in my shower, texted the wife, passed the hell out. And Kent goes, he, he, <laughs> he, damn it, Kent, tip Paul. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Um. <laughs> um, he, he, he calls me and he's like, hey, man, uh, I'm outside. And I was like, okay, cool. So I go to the door. I set off the alarm in the house we were staying in. So I had to go and undo that. And then I go back to the door and I open the door up and Kent's actually walking away from the door, <laughs> like around the side of the building. Like, dude, over here. He's like, oh, there's a door well, over here. I was walking over to the garage because that, that, that became our standard entrance and exit was the right. garage. Which so is, I, was, I was walking over there. <laughs> it was, yeah. And he was like, dude, oh, there's a door over here. And I was like, oh, shit, he's, he's, he's not doing good. So we go go back to the room, and I lay the hell back down because I'm like, you know what? I've already done all the things I need to do, and I hear thud, and I was like, what the hell? Kent had found the couch, and then just leaned into it, <laughs> and it thumped right onto the couch. Found it. <laughs> <laughs> done he was done i heard him get up a little while later like you know go get a shower or whatever and i was like holy shit (laughs) oh man that was still a great night though (laughs) (laughs) oh my god yeah uh geez that's oh man that's all right so that was the first day that was the first day. We have five, four more days. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the day we arrived. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that that's the most, uh, the most, most story filled day of of the entire week. Yeah, because oh. Friday we were kind of just still beat. Um, so we went out um, a little bit. I went to Travis's birthday party, and I it was my favorite night of the week, personally. <laughs> well, we went to his birthday dinner, and then we headed back into town. And we basically just floated around a little bit, had a few beers, and went back to the room because we were just beat. I think we went, we were, we were in early that night, like before midnight. We were sacked out. Yeah, it was it was pretty chill. So yeah, like you said, we went to to Travis's uh, uh, birthday dinner at what is it, Rudy's? Yeah, mm. at Rudy's. And yeah. then we just kind of we we went downtown for like I don't know, an yeah. hour or two, yeah. something like that. Met Richard and Kathy, and then uh, it was like, "Yeah, we're we're just gonna we're gonna turn in." Um, was uh was Travis's coworker with the handlebar mustache at the dinner? I don't believe so. I don't remember seeing a handlebar. You would have remembered him. No, <laughs> he was no. hilarious. <laughs> uh, yeah. So then Saturday, of course, was South by So Wasted. Uh, oh, hold night the fuck off. up. <laughs> <laughs> What? Grinch is like, wait, I has I has stories. Oh, 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 sorry. It was my favorite day. So we're all like chilling out at pinballs, and um it turns out that apparently Sunbun and the real C Miller are like gods at the crane game, and they have the crane game where you can just pick up like rolls of tickets. <laughs> so these uh, motherfuckers, oh. well, it was them and um, Slider, if you guys met Andrew Booth. Um, Slider kept cashing out the fucking machines. He kept having to get the workers to refill it, like refill the tickets, because they kept running out. Jesus. And so oh, between the three of them, we got 8,000 tickets, and we just wanted to use them all to get stuff for Travis for his birthday. Yes. And um, I've developed this stupid game an extra game for when i go to pinballs where i just 
try to use social engineering to swindle the managers out of stuff. Um, <laughs> of course, yes. Like, I had a game, and they were never in, like, behind the counter where you could actually exchange them for tickets. I just went and made a game of talking the managers into giving me all of the My Little Pony Pez dispensers um, just to see if I could. <laughs> um, Amazing. <laughs> and so... Yeah, there it is, the crane machine. And uh, so this time we're kind of debating stuff to get. We got him like a lava lamp and handcuffs and stuff, and we still had all these tickets. And then I see like right at the entrance when you come in, they have a glass case, and it shows you all the different like birthday packages you can get for people. Mm. And Mm -hmm. one of the packages had like a, a pink tiara with pink feathers and glitter and sequins and sparkles everywhere. And it said birthday princess. And I'm like, Oh my God, we need that. So (laughs) they have to call a manager over and I talked to the manager and I'm like, so what would I have to do to get that? And he's like, yeah, we don't normally like give those out. So there's no ticket value for them. And I'm like, yeah, that's why I'm asking. Um, Uh, I'm looking for this picture. (laughs) I can't find it. Yeah, what? I'm trying to remember who who <laughs> tweeted that out, Amos. Because um, uh, there were pictures. I think it was Waffle. Waffle Offagus. Waffle Offagus. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> so many pictures and videos actually came out of this as well. Oh, uh, we have a video of his coronation. And, and that was pretty funny. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that was that was my night, and that was fun. That was fun. So fine. Uh, Talk not, about Saturday, fine. Kent. <laughs> oh no, I think we said everything about Saturday, right, Amos? Uh, did we, did we, uh, was no, there's there, there is one more thing that we need to say about Saturday, uh, and, and it's really, I got, I, I got to stop, stop hitting enter. I got to actually click on this shit. Um, <laughs> Twins Rest is going out of business, by the way. Get your fucking pop things now. Yeah, yeah. End of an Rip era. Toys R Us. There we go, right there. This right here. This, I mean, we get, we have to share this. This is so there's Bryce Innocent in a sombrero. <laughs> he, he was doing this. Travis, JF, Travis in the background. Yeah, Travis in the background. We, we, he was doing a a JFK slash Nixon um, oh, impersonation thing where he was just taking like <clears throat> he, he was doing a JFK impersonation, a, a, acting like Nixon with his with his fingers and shit. But yeah, no, he was he was doing a Nixon impersonation in JFK's voice. But, so it's like JFK doing a Nixon impersonation. Right. But it but he was he was saying uh like lyrics pop song lyrics. Pop song lyrics. And the shit was hilarious. Like we got the, we got to the party late. Like it had already been an established bit. And I almost pissed myself a couple times because he was he was Yeah. Oh my god, and so this funny. This was the bit that would not quit. Like he went but probably like 30 minutes straight, just continuously <laughs> doing after, it. After we got there, and they'd already been doing it a while. <laughs> yeah, to the <clears throat> point where he like he had a fan base for it already. Yeah, it was it was hilarious. <laughs> it was pretty good. Um, so hopefully, hopefully somebody got some video of that shit because that was that was amazing. All right, and that's uh, that's Friday, and uh, that's actually that night was Saturday. That was Saturday. Yeah, that was Saturday. Because <clears throat> uh, we didn't see Bryce until Saturday. Right. Uh, until we give him his nickels. Uh, <laughs> I wonder if he spent those that night. <laughs> and I also wonder, did he ever pay Jury his 95 cents? His 95 cents back. I really hope not. Um, and then sat- <laughs> Sunday, we didn't, I don't, do we even see anybody Diamond Club on Sunday? I don't, Cause did, s- did we have a Sunday? I don't yeah. remember. <laughs> well, well, Sunday night, we ended up spending the evening with uh, Kathy and Richard. Um Oh, that's right. Yeah, because Monday was our fly day. So <clears throat> yeah, Sun. Oh, Sunday was like just our kind of like lazy Sunday. Like yeah, we, we like slept in. We went downtown and we got milkshakes and yeah. kind of like walked around. What was that place at- called with the milkshakes? That shit was delicious. Frank. Frank. Frank has mil- amazing milkshakes. Yes, it was not Frank's. Hmm. It was Frank. No, no, not 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 hot dogs and not the other random shit. It was uh, Frank. <laughs> And, and he has uh, amazing uh, uh, milkshakes. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Can I share a story from Saturday? I mean, it's oh. not necessarily funny. It's almost concerning to me. I almost just want some feedback. 
Then again, now that I say that out loud, I'm like, is this inappropriate? Maybe I shouldn't. But can I share a story from Saturday? Your fault. Of course. You have the platform. Yeah. Okay. Um, so after Night Attack, everyone kind of split up. And I'm like hanging out with a few people of whom I will not name. Um, and one of the guys is telling me that he has a long history of knowing that guys are scum. And I'm like, whoa, hang on, hang on, shut the fuck up. Because he was trying to tell me this. He was trying to tell me. And I'm like, oh, he was explaining it to you. Yes. Um, For certain reasons that were also I don't want to talk about because the initial reason that he was explaining it to me, he is not the one that said it, but somebody said something that really, really irritated me. And I'm not going to tell you what that is. But anyways, um, so he's like explaining this to me, like mansplaining, you know, and he's like, I have a history of knowing that guys are scum. Um, and I'm like, wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that guys are scum? You know that guys are scum? How do you know that guys are scum? From people like me that are your friends telling you that guys are scum? <laughs> right? No, you don't even you don't even get to say that. And then the other guy sitting on the other side of me who wasn't even part of the conversation, but but he and I did previously in years past used to hook up on a couple occasions. Mm. Okay. Um, and he looks over at me and he says, you know, one time a girl took advantage of, or one time a girl had her way with me and I didn't even want it. And I just like turned to him and I'm like, are you a one upper? And he's like, I mean, not normally. And then he kind of smiles and looks away. And then I thought about it for a second. I'm like, wait, did he and I just like subtweet each other in real life? <laughs> Was he talking about me? I honestly don't know. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Uh, hashtag, oh, a- hashtag you too? Um, <laughs> right? <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Uh, I mean, is it, a, is it a cause for concern? I mean, it's not like he's screamed if, rape, if, so. I mean, I don't <clears throat> want to have had my way with somebody when they didn't want it. It was never it was never verbalized to me that they didn't want it. <laughs> Welcome to being a dude. Like we don't know either. Like, <laughs> we're 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 just hopeful that nothing ever happened that we didn't want to happen and aren't uh we're just hopeful. Like that's all we are. Yeah, but, but look, see, I'm the one I am the one that has been standing up for you motherfuckers. I've been saying this whole time that the obvious problem in this situation is the way the difference in between how men and women communicate Mm. and that gap needs to be bridged before anything will be fixed. Mm. Do not say any of that shit to me because I am on your side. (laughs) Men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. Am I right? Uh, that was actually wasn't good. that book wasn't that book about this exact subject? It exactly, literally was, and it, it, yes. it one of the best communication books I've ever read. Uh, simply because it was easy to read. We yeah, covered this very- years ago, and it's coming back around. Yeah. <laughs> Well, back then it was like, well, I want this. Uh, well, I want this. And then you got to like talk about how your lives are going to like merge together and become that thing. Um, and now it's more like, well, I want this. And I think she wants this. And she's like, well, I think he wants this, but I only want this. And th- 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 yeah, it's just, oh, well, that, oh no, that's well, that, not going to work. That clears it up. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all yeah. better people for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tele- uh, uh, not telekinesis. I mean, I guess telekinesis would work too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but telepathy, uh, we all just need telepathy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, 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 Mbeam says, I prefer cat in the hat. I um, prefer red fish, blue fish. Uh, one fish, two fish, one red fi- fish, one blue fish. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't like blue fish myself or red fish for that matter. I'm not really a fish guy. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not Same like I them am. with a mouse. I do not like them on a house. Oh, <laughs> look, look at I do look not at, like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox or whatever. Anyways, <laughs> rhyming is I fun. I do not like them, Sam. I am. I do not like <laughs> green eggs and ham. And that is chapter four of this week's uh, audiobook. If you'd like to get chapter five, cruise on over to patreon.com slash ritual misery. And uh, we'll be sure to give that out to all of our patrons or probably not, but whatever. <laughs> no, but that's a real site. Like everyone should go there. It's patreon.com slash ritual misery. 
Uh, there is that, I guess. I mean, uh, I shouldn't. Um, hey, uh, uh, real quick, uh, before we close things out, because uh, I just want to say uh, a few more times, because uh, I know there's some people out there that uh, really hate when people uh, say, uh. <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate Bonnie Brushwood three years ago pointing that out to us. That we, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> she, she, it would have been better if she had been like, well, I really uh, like this show, uh, guys, but uh, you guys... Uh, I'm not so sure she didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> that, was at the, that was at the handlebar, on the roof of the handlebar. Yeah. And I was nursing a hangover while simultaneously trying to tame the hair of the dog with, uh, <laughs> with IPAs. Oh, and I we were so hungover at that show, too. <laughs> that oh. was... That was anyway. Anyway, that was, that was three rough. years ago. That was rough. Um, <laughs> Kahoot.com and search for uh, Diamond Club, and you can play the quiz that we played for everybody at the Diamond Club event. Yes, and there's a, there's an ongoing scoreboard and everything. I want to see who the first person is that gets all of them correct. Uh, um, it'll be the first person that just logs in twice, but whatever. Like, don't cheat. No, well, <laughs> sure, sure. But yeah, check it out. Kahoot.com, search for Diamond Club. You'll see it. Uh, so much fun. Like I, I thought we came up with good questions. It was a blast. There was only there in fact there was only one question that every single person got right, and it was the one about the pants. Whose pants are these? <laughs> and everyone got that one right. Uh was that the only one that got that everybody got right? Uh, from from my memory, yeah. Cause that was I think okay, we have okay, what, eight okay, or nine okay. players. Okay, from your memory, that explains it. All right. Oh, right, right, right. But we only, we had twenty questions, and th- that part of the night is very clear to me. That was that was pretty early in the evening. Uh, anyway, so much fun. Everybody just head over there, Kahoot.com. That's K. <laughs> with, that's with a K. So it's K A H O O T. dot com. Search Diamond Club. It's pretty great. Hey, uh, we talked a lot about drinking and and uh, having beers and stuff like that. Um, mm-hmm. Wouldn't it be cool if we had a video from people from Have a Drink Show? Oh, we do. We do have a video for the from the Have a Drink Show. We were supposed to do a uh, Have a Drink taste testing at Austin, and that didn't quite work out. Uh, yeah, there's uh, there's there, <laughs> there, there's there's some either uh, you could either call it confusion, you could call it hangovers, or you could call it all the above. Uh, either way, that didn't happen, and we are very sorry for it. But we will go ahead and play this video because they're awesome, and we appreciate them. Yep. If it'll play. Ah, there we go. Hey, this is Justin from uh, the Have a Drink Show. Uh, here talking about a beer you've probably seen in your liquor show or uh, in your beer stores. Today I have uh, Bell's Two-Hearted Ale. Uh, it seems to be something to talk about since it's being called the best beer in America. Uh the AHA, the American Home Brewers Association, of which I'm a lapsed member, uh, sent out a survey and told its members to rank their top 20 beers. Uh, and this year, they chose the Two-Hearted Ale as number one. Supposedly, this beer, uh, made with 100% Centennial hops, supposed to be an explosion of flavors ranging from pine to grapefruit. Uh it's been a few years since I've had one of these, uh, so uh, let's see if it's the best beer in America. Oh. Wow, that is as hoppier than I'm expecting out of an ale, um, but like a regular ale, not a IPA or something. It's it's good uh, and it's perfectly sessionable, but I don't know if I'd put it at my number one. I don't know if I'd put it in my top 20, really, but that would require a lot of thinking. Um, it, it is very good. If you have the means, go pick it up. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you might be a bit overhyped. Uh, so if you want more of our uh, hor- oh, pardon. If you want more of our horse apple shenanigans uh, from me or my co-hosts, check us out at haveadrinkshow.com or uh, wherever fine podcasts are found. Uh, that's about it for me. So now, if you'll excuse me, I have a bit more beer to finish. Oh my god! Uh, so that was Justin, aka Bob, <laughs> from the Have a Drink Show. <laughs> <laughs> that that pretty much sums up the character of Justin. He <laughs> he is oh my gosh. He I, I consider him the comic relief of the show because this this guy man he is just 
he's he's, he's definitely the one willing because because Casey is kind of like the straight and narrow like here's the facts I'm I'm getting you know he's like a scholar he's yeah the yeah, scholar. yeah yeah um and then Brittany is is of course the female voice of the show uh but she's also sometimes like she's she, kind of the anchor. she she reins it back in and she kind of keeps yeah. everybody in line where sure. uh. Uh, Justin is Bob is the the comic relief the one that's willing to he's the most tangential he's the one that's most uh, most likely to throw it off course by going somewhere uh, yeah, to include drunk <laughs> yeah 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 and then uh, of, of course uh, oh, man that that show is just that show's yeah. really well, fucking don't, good don't forget Chris Chris is great too he's the one with the beard uh, well. That's just it. Like I, I never know if he's talking to the beard, so I don't want to attribute to either one because I think the beard has yeah. a mind of its own. Well, I mean, yeah, there, there's Chris and there's Chris's beard. Right. Uh, one, only one of them is uh, is attributed attributed in the show, though. So yeah. Anyway, check those guys out. They are at Have a Drink <laughs> Show on Twitter, on Twitch, everywhere, everywhere. They are Have a Drink Show. So check all the them places, out. all the places. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, Crunchy, if people want to get more of your shenanigans, uh, where can they go to find more more stories of Kent passing out and, and uh, being racist in, in nah, Uber? No, 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 no. More stories of Crunchy and her adventures. That's what I want. <laughs> Patreon.com slash Crunch Files. <laughs> Crunch with a K. Yep. And yeah. don't forget, uh, was it Crunch89 on the old Twitter? Crunchy eighty nine. Look, if I didn't, if I didn't try it, then you wouldn't try it. So I don't want to hear it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, Crunchy eighty nine on the Twitter. How about you, uh, Kent? Yeah, RM underscore Del Noche on Twitter. I'm either Del Noche or Del Noche seventy seven. Everywhere else on the internet, I'd love it if people would get on Untapped and follow me there. I am Del Noche. We we did a lot of untapping while we were at South by actually. Did a fair amount. Yeah, uh, at least one a day, I think. <laughs> That's really not. Yeah, I mean, a lot. It probably averages <laughs> out to be at least one a day. Um, I'm Amos, I, and you can uh, find me at Ethan Kane on Twitter, and uh, submit idea. Well, you can find the show at Ritual Misery since I'm talking about Twitter. Uh, you can follow, submit ideas on our subreddit RitualMisery.reddit.com. You can find all these links, and more ways to support the show, and give feedback at our website RitualMisery.com. We are live. Every Thursday at 7 p.m. Pacific, DiamondClub.tv and Twitch.com slash Ritual Misery. I want to give a big thank you to Kevin McLeod for allowing us to use his music. Uh, everybody should give credit to Kevin McLeod, even if you don't use his music, because why the hell not? Um, and I should probably hit this little button right here so the music kicks in. Uh, thank you for listening. For Kent, for Crunchy, for me, and for all of South By, this has been your Ritual Misery podcast. You have enjoyed this program. <laughs> there we uh, go. Amazing. What a show. Uh, what a show. Yeah. Uh, the show, or uh, damn it. I should fuck it up every week. rmp.showbot.tv. <laughs> rmp.showbot.tv. Yes.